Well, you can't even see me. There you can. Sorry about the over overexposure, but today we are installing the Psycho Performance Airbox. I'm pretty stoked. These guys have uh, actually hooked me up with one because I think they've just released one for the petrol v8 100 series so i have been actually talking to these guys for a fair while and they kind of just said when we get one sorted for your rig we'll send you out one so pretty stoked they hooked me up with this free one so today we are going to install it um and also i'm going to give you a bit of details about psycho performance and all that sort of business and show you what's in the box but i'm also i'm also pairing it with the safari armax snorkel so this is going to allow this thing to breathe so much more, um, get better airflow. We are taking all the restricting uh, elements out of the airbox. And I'm pretty stoked because they claim to give an extra like 20 kilowatts of power, which is pretty decent. But this is paired with everything. This is with the exhaust, uh, Armax snorkel, or your Stano four inch snorkel, essentially, I'm putting a bigger airflow system in. Hopefully it leans it out a little bit so I get a better fuel economy, but let's get into it. So right, the first thing we're gonna do is pop the bonnet. I'm gonna show you what's in the box and we're gonna remove the old system and old snorkel and put in all the new stuff. Righto, this piece right here, let me get some scissors. This is the piece, I'm sorry if you can't see my head, I'm just trying to fix the stuff on the box. This is the piece that, I was, that takes out the restrictors, this piece right here, and you've got your vacuum lines, your big vacuum lines and all that sort of business. So that's where this is going to take over that big restrictor. So we've got that piece, we've got some pipe bends. They've given us some pinch weld, mainly for the, um, if you've got a Stano snorkel, but we're not gonna have that. All your, um, what do you call them? Circle clamps, pipe clamps, stainless steel also. So good. They've also given me a high flow um, filter. Now these high, these filters that, they, that come with it. Ah. Here we go. Now these filters that come with it, are really, really good. Um, have They are non-oil based, so they are paper, but they are better than your standard uh, air filters. They filter the air better. Obviously they fitted in with that there, they fitted with the off-road one. So it's probably a bit, it's a, the off-road one is a little bit more dense, so it'll capture the dust a lot better. Well, this one's a lot more free flowing, and we'll probably do a bit of a test later on in the video between the two. Um, to notice the power difference. Now, I wish I was affiliated with someone who had a dyno, which I could really test all this stuff, which I still might do. Um, hopefully I can get onto someone that might be able to do that. We might do that in a future, future episode, but this is the high flow one. I think I'm gonna probably be running this one a lot um, compared to the off-road one, and I might just whack a, on, uh, whack a snorkel filter on the ram head and keep this going. <laughs> So, we've got some more pipe bends. And then this is the baby right here. That puppy there, look how beautiful it is. That is a massive filter. That is a massive filter, very big. So they've taped everything off, which is awesome. I'm really stoked with this. This is gonna look so neat in the fucking car. So it's got the big outlet here, so that's gonna be perfect for the uh, Armax snorkel, which I'm hoping I've got enough time to install it today. I've gotta to pick the kids up from school. <laughs> but we're gonna get into it. Let's talk more filmy, filmy. Let's get it any, any. Rattle. So this is the old system. Um, these are pretty good. I'm not gonna knock them. It's Toyota, it's genuine. Uh, there is a lot of restrictors here, and these things kind of help with that sucking noise that you get from your induction systems. Um, so essentially we're gonna be blanking all this stuff out. It's coming and the air box is gonna fit in straight in and it's just gonna be a single pipe all the way through to the throttle body. And then we're going to pull out the old snorkel and install the AR Max one. So let's get into it. So 
So when I take the camera off, here we go. So essentially, we are ripping off all this air restrictors. Now, they do serve a point. It does reduce the noise, but it also restricts the airflow. So what we need to do is make sure we keep these vacuum lines. That's what's gonna go into the new vacuum line piece that they've put in in the kit. I think I'm gonna to have to pull the inside of the guard off too, so we can get that ready for the um, for the snorkel, but it's one of those things, I'm not gonna get in here again, so I might give it a bit of a clean with some degreaser and um, yeah, just because, Jesus, she was dirty inside that snorkel. But yeah, I'm just gonna give in, give in here a bit of a clean and then whatever parts I can clean up while all this is pulled apart, I'm gonna do that because why not? I'm not gonna get a chance, to, I'm not gonna be pulling this part again soon. So I'm going to give it a clean and Guys, that is the end of the episode. Holy, this car. Actually, haven't told you guys, it kind of jumped the gun with the episodes, but the bonnet is actually a new addition, which I'll cover in another episode. Um, I just haven't finished doing the revamp on the bonnet. I just kind of got excited when all the packages come in with the uh, new airbox and the snorkel. I kind of just wanted to get it all on just to, yeah, because the rest is just little touch-ups I'm going to do and completely revamp the car. It's been a massive journey that I've been on just revamping this car since Cape York. Um, I want to give a major shout out to Psycho Performance for providing the uh, airbox. And um, it is an absolute weapon. I was just driving to this spot to film this uh, outro. And um, <laughs> you put the foot down and it gets up in boogies real quick. The low end, I guess it takes that lag out of the low end, but it actually gives you more power. And... I wasn't really expecting it from an airbox, but I guess the airbox paired with the Armax snorkel and the exhaust and the throttle controller, all those little tasty mods have just opened up this car so much more and um, I really, really enjoy it. It's, it's, I'm gonna have to hold back a little bit, but I'm really keen to test the uh, fuel, the range, because I do think I think it's just got to work itself out with the math sensor and all that sort of things where I've got to run it for a little bit to for it for the math sensor to know that I'm actually force feeding more air into the car so I think it's going to take a little bit of time for everything to settle in once it settles in it's going to be an absolute animal and I can't wait so as you guys see like I said the bonnet is coming in another episode and um, like I said I jumped the gun I'm sorry but um, it looks absolutely amazing at the moment and I'm really happy with it and hope you guys are happy, happy with it also and see you next episode. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe also. Yeah, forgot to say that.